Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in this video um, I'd like to explain out and um, get into a bit of detail about what is Node.js and NPM okay so if you've been in the web development um, scene for a while you would know that um, Node.js is the hot um, hotness um, recently and um, of course there's other frameworks out but um, web development Node.js is pretty much everywhere right now so not just for building websites but um, for building like uh, build tools and stuff like that so if you use stuff like grunt and gulp you know that they all run on node.js okay so what is node.js all right so node.js is uh, built on chrome's v8 engine and i don't want to bore you with those technical details but um basically it's just a server side um, language so it is just javascript but it is javascript that runs on the server okay so you can use node.js to build website backends these days and the front end will be javascript and html okay so that's what node.js is on the core and um, you don't have to use it to build a backend um node.js you can use it to build like um task runners like grunt and called js so not necessarily a fully fledged website Okay, so it is capable of doing that. So just to keep it simple, Node.js is a backend engine that you can use to build backends for website or um, tools that helps you build websites. So in just the simplest terms, that's what Node.js is. And um, it runs on Chrome's, um, Google Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine, as it says on their website. So it is available for Mac, Windows, and, and Linux, and you can download it on their website here. Okay, so let's take a look at what npm is okay so npm basically is just uh stands for node package manager uh that's a funny little thing that they do on the website here they give different meanings for npm but it stands for node package manager and as the name says it is the official package manager for node.js so basically um if you've used other languages or frameworks like um, ruby on rails uh ruby on rails has something like gems and um actually ruby has gems and php has composer and i believe python has something like pipe i'm not really sure so do not kill me if i don't know what python uses but every um big framework or language has its own package manager okay and um dotnet has nuget uh, so that's it so npm is node.js package manager and it is used to pull in um, packages for node so let's say for example you want to put in, pull in the package called gulp so gulp um you type that in so when you come here um it's gonna take you to the website um for the page for installing gulp package and um if you use gulp js before you know that you install it by saying npm install or something like that and it's as easy as that so npm is just an accompanying package manager for node.js and it's a brilliant one at that so most likely if you use node.js you'll be using npm alongside it so that is the only um, difference between them i wouldn't say they're actually different they go hand in hand so node.js um, is helped by npm so um, every package basically in node is inside of npm okay and um, yeah, so that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully now you get a brief idea um, of what Node.js and NPM is. And um, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. And I thank you for watching. And please um, share this video and comment if you like it. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Cheers. Bye-bye.